Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if a process will not terminate properly on your Windows computer. So if you tried closing out of it and it just will not close, this tutorial will be for you. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by left clicking on the start button one time. I'm going to type in CMD. Best man should come back with command prompt right above desktop app. You want to right click on that. We'll have to click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. So now you want to go ahead and type in Task, T-A-S-K, and then type in K-I-L-L. -L. So T-A-S-K, K-I-L-L, -L, so two K's in there. Space, forward slash I-M, space, and now whatever the process name you're having the issue with. So let's say it's Chrome, so I'll just say Chrome, so C-H-R-O-M-E dot E-X-E. Again, you guys should know what process you're having the problem with if you're getting this error. So you can go ahead and look in the task manager as well, so it should be pretty obviously listed. So if you open up the task manager here, and I'm assuming most of you guys know how to do that, and you go ahead and look for any details you should have a name of the process in here so pretty straightforward and then you just would type a space after the dot exe so there'd be a space after the last e so space forward slash f and then once you have it as it appears on my screen so again that was a forward slash f on the end you want to hit enter your keyboard so in the event that the process is not found, this is just purely an example here, but if you did have a process in Task Manager that was currently running, you should be able to terminate it. However, it's not actually open right now for Chrome, but if it did, it should say it has been terminated, and it should just go through with a few different lines of code, and that should pretty much be about it. And you could also go through Process Explorer as well, another Microsoft utility. It's more than welcome to try and terminate processes that way as well. But what fun is that? So we wanted to make it a little interesting for this tutorial, and that's what I wanted to do. So again, I do have this brief tutorial, was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.